After a journey of more than 1,300 kilometers, I cannot believe we have made it to Jolu. Jolu is a territory in the Chwapa province, which is one of the least developed and most heavily forested areas in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I have traveled to many places throughout the world, but this journey to Jolu has been the most difficult and challenging yet, the most fulfilling journey I have ever embarked on. Why Jolu, you might ask? We have been invited to visit Jolu by a non-profit organization called Congo Education Partners to see the work they are doing with the Jolu Technical College. Climatique. Exemple comme les bonobos et tout qu'on sort. Alors, par rapport à, à cette option, là, nous recevons des cours qu'on peut protéger les, les, les espèces là. Parce que pourquoi on conserve ça C'est pour, pour donner aussi l'occasion à nos enfants qui viendront de trouver ça. Parce que même moi, moi je n'ai pas vu l'éléphant à l'île. My name is Papi Oraya. I'm a Congolese and I love Congo. My goal has always been to travel around Congo and highlight the hidden beauty, the quiet strength of our country as well. I also wanted to highlight the great work that is being done by amazing non-profit organizations and individuals. This is why I traveled all the way from Bukavu, South Kivu, uh, to a Congo's deep rainforest. I set out traveling to Jolo with a friend of mine from Germany. He also wanted to experience the beauty of Congo and of course was curious to see this place called Jolo. Our journey began in Bukavu, South Kivu, where we took a boat across the beautiful Lake Kivu to the city of Goma, where we were able to catch a flight to Kisangani in the Chopo province. Once we arrived in Kisangani, we were able to visit the incredible Wagania tribe on the Congo River. We spent time with them and heard about the history of this area and experienced the amazing resilience and the famous fishing skills of this tribe. The next step of our journey from Kisangani to Lokoto will be by boat, an old wooden overcrowded boat. These boats are infamous in Congo as being one of the most dangerous means of transport you can take. This experience for us though, was amazing. On the Congo River, second largest in the world. The second largest rainforest. And but river. The, yeah, and river, but the most precious in the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. Guys, I'm so um, out of work. We traveled overnight along the river. We spent time with our fellow travelers. And before arriving in Lokutu, we watched the sun rise over the Congo River in one of the most beautiful and spectacular sunrises I have seen. Our journey towards Jolu continued from Lokutu on the back of motorbikes. We spent the next 20 hours traveling on narrow paths through deep jungle and passing by small picturesque Congolese villages. Riding through this rainforest was a dream for me. Not only getting to see the immense natural beauty of the world's second largest rainforest, but also getting to meet the friendly people that live in these remote areas of my country. I can't believe it. (laughs) Jolu Technical College was founded in 2004 by a local non-governmental organization called V Sauvage. This college provides higher education and training to local students who will otherwise have traveled this long journey to get education.
It helps local students to become professionals, leaders in their community, and active stewards of the vital Congolese rainforest. We are losing the rainforest to climate change, population growth, and sustainable agriculture, logging, and mining. But we cannot save the rainforest without supporting the people who live in there. And they cannot save the rainforest without education. Étant d'abord technicien de développement rural, et vu la situation, la précarité dont connaît notre population, il y a même la, la rareté au niveau du marché. Il y a aussi manque d'emploi. Bon, étant technicien, qu'est-ce qu'on a fait Au lieu de rester bras croisés, nous avions eu l'initiative de faire ce projet, d'abord pour notre ville et aussi pour aider la population riveraine. We had the opportunity to talk to students at the Technical College. It was great to hear their stories, and I wanted to share with you what they had to say about the impact this college has had on them. Mon nom c'est Michel Bokuta, j'étudie à l'USDR Jol, je fais Oeforin, euh, j'ai choisi le Oeforin pour conserver la nature. Je vais donner les causes qui a fait que l'espèce bonobo soit en voie de disparition. Moi, étant ingénieur forestier, je ne peux jamais écrire le demande d'emploi pour solliciter un travail, mais je dois créer les emplois. Étant ingénieur forestier, je peux faire les pisciculture, les élevages, les conservations de quelques espèces naturelles. Merci, j'ai fait le choix d'étudier à l'idée de parce que là-bas, il y a des professeurs de bonne qualité, il y a la bonne, qualité de for la bonne formation de qualité. Il y a des professeurs de qualité qui nous enseignent la spécialité de l'environnement durable, l'environnement et le développement durable. Parce que là-bas, nous, nous, nous allons créer des emplois pour lutter contre la pauvreté. J'ai le souci de travailler sur la malnutrition parce qu'il est dans notre métier. Il y a pas de maladies chez les enfants. Les enfants ne se veulent pas bien, on n'a pas de bonne conscience. Des jeunes filles qui se marient, donc à l'âge de 12 ans, vous voyez maintenant. Alors, si elle a quand même vu même les tableaux, elle va voir quelques conceptions dans, dans, dans sa tête. Donc, il va connaître que se marier à l'âge que je suis, c'est mauvais. Que nous vivons, la femme aussi a vu que non, on n'a pas dit que c'est seulement les. les les hommes qui travaillent dans des bureaux et les femmes aussi ont, ont besoin de travailler dans des bureaux comme les hommes. C'est pourquoi les femmes ont se donné corps et âme à étudier, d'avoir encore les emplois comme hein, les hommes. Parce qu'on n'a pas dit que si tu es l'homme ou femme, c'est l'homme seulement qui va s'engager à, à occuper tout ce qui se trouve dans la maison. Et les remerciements aussi tombés à son côté parce que ni TTE, les étudiantes là n'ont pas eu le droit d'étudier parce que les moyens si nous manquent. Alors, par leur, leur intervention aujourd'hui, nous, nous avons bénéficié beaucoup des élèves, filles. Although Jolu is isolated, I must say I have learned a lot in my short time here. And I am returning home knowing that great work is being done by Congo Education Partners and the Jolu Technical College. Not only can I now say I have visited this place,
but moreover, I know I want to be part of making a greater impact by continuing supporting organizations that are working towards a better future for us all. You can also be part of this by supporting the work of Congo Education Partners to continue providing education to students in Jolo, and especially education to the women. I know this video is short and only touches a little of the immense work being done here in Jolo. But please check out their website to see even more of their work. The success story is the future vision of the work which is being done by the amazing non-profit. Before you leave, remember to hit the subscribe button and uh, make sure you share this story if you, uh, it speaks to you somehow. And uh, uh, remember that we are in this together. Uh, we continue taking you to places and showing you people that are making the impact in, uh, in our country. And know that, yeah, God bless you and take care.